So this is the Nissan Leaf we're taking the battery out of and stripping just to show the wiper motor works, um, stalks work, indicators, electric windows they all work. We're going to leave them halfway down so when we strip the doors the windows are halfway down. The screen still works and audio off. Let's just see if the radio still works. Yes, it does, but the radio, the area was come off because it, this car actually rolled. So everything works on the screen. The blower still works. AC, heating, all the controls. What else can I show him, George? Power steering is really tight, but that's probably because um, stuff has been disconnected. Let's just see if it goes into drive. There's no brakes. Well, it goes from P to neutral. And the brake goes all the way to the floor. So I'm just assuming that the, um, the gearbox does work fine. So I don't think there's anything else to really show before we disconnect the main battery but suffice to say everything is working on the central screen the fan the blower the air conditioning the windows the central locking all works so there we go we're just going to disconnect the leaf so bye bye leaf so this is the front end of the Nissan leaf with the bonnet up um, headlights are still intact and the bumper is repairable as you can see it had rolled I've covered this before but just to show people that uh, the front end the motor the inverter all the front parts including the radiator were undamaged and these were going to be uh, taken off and sold the near side drivers drive shaft uh, was ripped out but the offside driver side uh, drive shaft was okay we then secured the front and the back of the car in front and behind the rear battery tray with pallets and made sure the car was secure. Uh, we then undid, I think it was three bolts either side of the pack. There's like a plastic shield that goes over the pack. That was easy to pop down. And there was two bolts at the front and four bolts at the back. So this is um, grey. I'm just undoing the bolts nearest him. He was in charge of the forklift. The forklift is supporting the weight of the battery as you can see with a pallet. And then we had George on this side. So there was an extra bolt higher up that we'd not spotted. So uh, also before I disconnected the battery I did a leaf spy check of the battery. State of health there 99.3. Never been rapid charged. No QCs and 214 level 1 or level 2 charges. So this battery was nigh on perfect, uh, coming up for three years old, never been rapid charged. So it's nice to know that this battery is going to have a second life. It's been sold to a local gentleman who's going to be using it for battery storage. Um, my battery storage project, after doing the sums, really wasn't worth it because I haven't got enough panels to ever fully charge the battery because my base load in the house will always take what my panels are producing which is a 3.9 kilowatt system so a little bit of adjustment take some pressure off this last remaining bolt and then we found out because the bolt had come out it was obviously trapping the wrench and the socket against the rear subframe so with a little bit of uh, jigging around moving it up and down we managed to free the socket we did make sure if the worst thing happened and it suddenly fell that we were well out of harm's way but relatively easy to drop the pack to be honest 
massive fuse in the top of the rear battery tray which is underneath an inspection cover in between the rear seats in the, between the rear footwells huge fat fuse that we're taking out the auxiliary battery obviously was disconnected we disconnected the orange cables from the front of the pack and um, yeah we were good to go so it then drops down made sure everything was uh, everything was clear and you can see at the front of the battery which is where I think three large connectors went into the front of the pack but that is a considerable weight of battery pack 24 kilowatt hour 3.3 and you can see in the middle of the pack was the connector with the fuse taken out So then we pressed on for the rest of the afternoon, started stripping the interior trim and then we had lots of time left to take out the motor and the inverter which is now for sale.